Hey guys, Comic Goon Dog Sam I'm doing Avengers Academy issue 22, so let's talk about the cover and the whole story. Let's see. Um, the cover, I was not, I love the art for it, don't get me wrong, but I wasn't impressed with the concept of it. Because with Magneto, I, I didn't feel like it was the best time to bring him in here. Because I wanted to see more about these new characters, these new Avengers Academy, like Julie Power, White Panther, but we... We're gonna get an X-Men story? Like, we could fit these X-Men stories in their series. They have a billion of them. So why can't we fit this story in their series or in a further issue? Because I'd rather learn more about the Avengers Academy people than to learn more about the X-Men. So let's see if I like the issue, though. Let's see what's going on. All right. So in this issue, we get to see that Ant-Man's working on his ex-wife robot thing. So she's, because she got broken before, so now he's saying, I have to fix her, I have to fix her. He hasn't slept for days. So he said, you know what, I have to bring Magneto in, I have to bring the X-Men. But, uh, Pietro's like, you're not bringing Magneto in. He's not a good person to bring in. And he's like, I know you have problems with him, but I need him to fix this. And he says, alright, whatever. Just And he says, you know, put your family business aside for now. He's like, alright, fine. For, uh, the robot, I'll do it. Um, really, for Ant-Man, I'll do it, too. So, Magneto comes in. Pietro and him really have a fight. Really about the House of M, and really them fighting over that. And, of course, they're going to have uh, a lot of tension between each other in this issue. And that's pretty much what's going on. And Magneto helps try and help with the robot thing. Uh, with the robot wife thing for Ant-Man. Um, I'm not sure if they really helped. Let me go to that page and see. Huh. He said, well, they also find out they think there's a mole in their team, so that's one thing they find out. And I think that's where they find out in this little panel here. It says, I can see I provide no answers and far more questions. Don't be, you did what you came here for. And then he says, like, did I? Because he was fighting with Pietro the whole time. But, um, so he tried to help, but he really couldn't help the robot thing is where I was trying to get at. So then Magneto leaves, and Pedro's like still mad at Magneto because he really never liked him, even though Pedro that that's his father. Really, there's so much tension through all the things that was happening. But and they also talked about like uh, Magneto said to Pedro, like stay out of the mutant world, just stop. Like he says, I can't stay out of the mutant world, but I'm gonna stay far away from you. And they're like, whatever, good. So really, this whole issue was a fight between those two. And Magneto trying to help Ant-Man out with uh, his robot. And seeing all these villains going to one place. And people were getting angry about that too. It's like, Magneto, Emma Frost, what are we doing here? Why are they all here? But it's Avengers Academy. Like, those children were enemies too. But they could be good too. So seeing that, you know, people could change. Even though Magneto's gotten more second chances, you know. So that's pretty much the whole issue. Uh, like I said from the beginning, I was a little disappointed. Because I wish... They could have waited with this story. Yeah, I know they had to help Ant-Man's uh, ex-wife robot, but I think they could have definitely waited on the Magneto story. Maybe they could have helped that somehow other way. But, you know, try to bring Magneto in a different way. But I feel like there's so many X-Men stories out there, they could have had a different X-Men story. They, I just felt like we should have been learning more about the Avengers Academy people. We keep learning about the teachers, but we haven't gotten to the students in a while. And I've just picked up for two issues because I love Julie Power. And um, I want to see more of her character. And, and when I heard she was in the series, and really a great series because I've heard so many great things about it, I had to pick it up. So, And I really liked the Avengers Academy people, their team, from the Amazing Spider-Man issue I read. And I was like, I have to pick the series up. But now we're not seeing the teach, and we're not seeing the students, the people I fell in love with in Maze Experiment, the people I fell in love with, like Julie Power and White Panther, all these great characters I wanted to see because really that's what the Academy is. Yes, I want to see more of the teachers also, but I want to see these new characters you you introduce get more story. So hopefully, maybe as the issues go on, we'll get to learn more about these characters, especially for people who don't know much about these characters. Uh, who saw our first issue, I could I could pick Avengers Academy up now. But now we're just learning, like, bringing Magneto in. I just don't think it was really the right time to bring him in. Um, I give this issue three stars. If you like Magneto and Pietro, then you should pick this issue up. Definitely pick it up. But if you haven't been following the series like I have, I think I say 
don't pick this issue up because it, it wasn't about the Avengers Academy. If you want to see Avengers Academy, uh, don't pick this issue up. Maybe wait for the next one. But um, if you really like Magneto and the X-Men and all that, definitely a great issue for you guys to pick up because it really is pretty much like crossover regenerous. You even see that. Regenesis, whatever. Um, so I say, in my opinion, and if I had to pick it up again, I wouldn't pick it up just because it wasn't the characters I wanted to see. But uh, definitely, I think, hopefully the next issue would be better because uh, Avengers Academy is still a great series and uh, just uh, I don't think they really concentrate on the right characters in this issue. So I think... Again, I don't, I don't think you should pick, it depends what characters you like, but uh, that will depend on if you're going to pick it up or not. But I give this issue three stars. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I will have the link of that on the bottom, and I will be telling you about video reviews I'm doing, topic videos, um, and comic book news, so uh, follow me on Twitter on the bottom. And also I have my other channel, Random Situations, on Twitter, and I'll have a link for that also on the bottom. So just follow both my channels on Twitter to get new news on my videos. So I hope you enjoy. I say I give this three stars, and this was Comic Uno. See you guys.